number one, it is the Charming Giraffe. And it is January 1st, Happy New Year. Hope everyone had a great night. Um, today we are doing a painting on a canvas. I don't know how big it is. Let's see. It is 14 by 11. And we're going to do a strainer pour today. We're going to pour out of a dirty cup into the strainer. And we're going to be using purple that I mixed in the last video with my paint mixing, um, how I paint, how I mix my paints. It's that purple. Uh, it's actually all of them I mixed them in the last one. Um, blue, red, black, and silver. They're all Artist Loft Blue Acrylic. And the purple is just a mixture of the red and the blue. Um, so I'm going to start pouring the cup. I will speed this part up um, just because I don't want it to last forever. That last video I uploaded was over 25 minutes, so I apologize. And thank you everyone for watching it. <laughs> um, but this one will not be that long, so here we go. It's really cool already. Is there a better angle? There we go. It's already got lacing and cells just in there as it is. Pretty cool. But here we go. Sounds like my dog might be about to bark, so you may hear that. It is already really cool. Let me bring you down real quick. While it's moving. You just can't see it very good. You're darker than what it is in real life. There, that's that's pretty accurate. Let's see if I can put you back up here without turning you off. Yay! All right. Now we got to be talented for this next part. Yeah, pretty good. I will take it. I'm not sure if that's enough paint, though. I am concerned about that. So, we will pour some black around the canvas because I do like what it looks like right now and if we were to just move it all of this on the outside would just get hidden either underneath it or drip off the edge and with as awesome as it looks already we don't we want to stretch it a little bit because there's just a lot of paint in that section but we don't want to lose our pattern and our colors more than anticipated. We may end up with negative space on this one. Which wasn't intended, but it'll be fine. Okay. You know how I like gloves. <laughs> Here we go. 
Dude. I hope this is going to come out on camera as awesome as it is in real life. If not, you know I will always find a way to show you. But adding that black, even though it is a lot more stretched out than I think I imagined it being, it still very much held its pattern, which is kind of the important part, at least to me in this painting. That was what was important to me. We are going to bring it back a little bit. Take it off a little bit more on that side. Back. And if I bumped you and you're shaking, I apologize. And I know you can't see the painting right this second, and I apologize for that as well. Okay, we're changing the orientation because this is the way I like it. And yeah, you're actually brighter than what it looks like in real life, but it's still as cool as what you're seeing. Um, I think you're probably a little bit brighter because of the silver and how the light is hitting that silver. Uh, but it is, it is equally as amazing in real life colors as what you're seeing on the camera. Because with the lighting and everything, the camera does distort the color sometimes. I think two videos ago, there was a one where I couldn't get it to show the colors and um, the way that I was seeing them so I had to be had to adjust the lighting in order for you to see what I was seeing. We're gonna torch it real quick. I don't think it needs it but just in case. We are back. I did torch it. Um sorry my battery died so I had to go plug it in for a second to come back to show you the close up. Um it, we got thousands of cells here and it looks amazing. Um so we're going to start our close-up in the lower left corner. Uh, it's, this is just beautiful. I never would have thought I'd get this many cells out of this type of pour. And it's just like where all that went through the slats in the strainer. Because in the middle, where it didn't go through the slats, there's not as many cells. But it looks amazing. I did want to let you know that for this year, I am anticipating on uploading a video a day. So tune in tomorrow for the next one. And I do want to thank you for watching. Have a great day and do what makes you happy.